Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning Earthlings, wherever you may be on planet Earth. I'm just doing a quick video before the sun goes down. The weather here today has been lovely, not too hot, not too cold, not windy. I've been out on the dolphin boat, I've done a few little videos which I'm going to try and get Graham to edit together, which is unusual for me, normally I do them on the fly like this. Um, we're about 300 dolphins today and I thought you'd like to see that and uh, also managed to persuade my boss to get a little bit animated, got a bit of footage of Tim which I'm quite pleased with because as I said before they're both very camera shy, Tim and Conchie, which is such a shame because they're spectacular characters. I'm dressing up, practicing for our Christmas party. Our dolphin safari Christmas parties actually tend to happen in October or November because uh, we close for the season more or less, but uh, Conchie's coming next week. So I said to Tim, maybe we do it next week and that will be good fun. So I was sitting here and you know, I've mentioned many times how secure this marina is. Um, and a couple of geezers come down the pontoon and they're quite hefty lads. Graham's gone gone off to the house, so it's just me on me and the cat on the boat. I saw them coming, I thought that's funny, I've never seen them before. They came all the way down here and uh, with a fishing rod. And I thought, I well, wonder why they've got to come here fishing, because a lot of people fish on the other side. Anyway, they seem very friendly. Um, and I'm sitting here watching them and they got a, um, what we would call a slime line, a line that's laying along the seabed. And they pulled it and pulled it and up came a tuna. Um, a, not a massive, massive tuna, but it was about three and a half foot long, really heavy. They pulled it out. They obviously, it's illegal, okay? Tuna season is, uh, it's really strict, you know? Guardias feel go crazy. Anyway, they pulled it up onto the pontoon. They've been st stowing it underneath our boat. It was a beautiful fish. I said to them, oh, that's amazing. That's beautiful. Can I take a picture? And they said, oh, no, no, no. It's illegal. We'll get into trouble. I said, oh, well, good luck. I won't, I won't tell. And here I am on YouTube telling. But I didn't take pictures of them or their fish. But that was amazing. And good luck to them, too. Hope they make some money out of it. Fish that size. Easy worth a couple of thousand euros. Um... All quiet on the Western Front as far as the royal family go, or rather Meghan and Harry. Thank you very much everybody who joined on the live last night, especially the people who came on the Discord and spoke. I know it was a little chaotic, we will get better at it. Um, a lady expressed concern today that she thinks Discord is not safe. I have to disagree, I think it's quite safe. My kids have been using it since they were little. Um, my kids actually made friends with other children in Europe who eventually grew up and came and visited them and they've made lifelong friends through it. And the, the good thing with the Discord as a social media is it is invitation only. So you cannot get bot swarms or paid troll farms to come along and, and fuck things up. Like you can, Twitter is highly susceptible to that. Unfortunately, it looks like YouTube's becoming susceptible to that. Might have some news for you in a couple of days regarding the trolls. I received some pretty reliable information yesterday and I've received some 100% gold standard information today. So there will be updates coming soon and good, good. It's long overdue. Um, so I will see you tomorrow. What have you been up to today and what did you all think of the Discord? Be honest, I know somebody else also said the sound levels weren't right. We can alter that so that, because uh, I thought it was just me that some sound levels were ha higher than others and there was some white noise. Um, we might stick to StreamYard for some of the Christmas lives to make it easier. But the nice thing about Discord as well is that if any of you guys want to come up and talk, you can quite easily on the Discord uh, once you've, you've got your account. You have to have an account with Discord. Well, same with anything, Twitter, YouTube. You have to have an account in order to use it. And then... Um, you get the Discord link, which I'm not sure if I've got it on me at the moment, but I'll try and put that in a pinned comment or in the description. I hope you've all had a fabulous day, and I will try and get Graham to edit together the video, and I did a bit of filming of the airplanes and the runway and where we live. Because um, where we live, it is spectacular. It is really lovely. 
Um, it's incredibly unique. It's a cross-border community, so we're in one country and we go to work in another country. However, everywhere has its downfalls and its pitfalls, and it's not always easy to survive down here. And as, as some people find, um, there's no safety net, there's no social security. You're on your own. You either work and eat. Um, we try and look out for each other as expats and Spanish and Gibraltarian. When you have friends, you look after your friends. Um, but it still doesn't always work out that way. There are pitfalls for living down here. The health service is tricky, especially if you live cross-border very tricky uh, my friend Karen is very poorly um, we're not quite sure what's going on there at the moment but it's a common thing it, it is a common thing and it does happen um, but I'll do that in another video about the difficulties of living down here uh, in the meantime have a lovely evening wherever you may be whatever you may be doing and uh, I'll see you below any thoughts